Hey, what's up? I'm Dallas Wade, and welcome back to another worship service. What would it take to convince an atheist that your God exists? I obviously can't speak on the behalf of every single atheist, but as an atheist myself, I can at the very least speak on my own behalf. I don't doubt that there are plenty of atheists out there who would refuse to believe in a God, even if you could provide them with indisputable proof that one did exist. But from my experience, it does seem like the vast majority of atheists are fairly open-minded people, and I like to think that I am too. I am an atheist, but I would be more than happy to believe in a God, even the Christian God, if it could be demonstrated in some way that he did in fact exist. The only problem is that as of now, this hasn't happened yet. But a good question that Christians sometimes ask me is this. You say that you would believe in the Christian God if there was proof that he did exist. But what kind of proof are you looking for? What kind of proof would you find convincing? This is a very good question. It's a very fair question, and it's one that I feel like atheists don't answer or even acknowledge nearly enough, including myself. I've spent a lot of time thinking about this question recently, and I've come up with six different answers. Six separate proofs that would compel me as an atheist to to become a Christian. I'm going to dedicate a separate video to each one of my answers, and I've ordered them in a way that each answer is more convincing to me personally than the one before it. So if you want to see what proof I would find the most compelling to become a Christian, then watch this series all the way till the end. Anyway, with all of that being said, here is the first proof that would compel me as an atheist to become a Christian. <laughs> Now I know this first proof might sound like a bit of a cop-out answer, but I can assure you that it's not. If the Christian God actually does exist, and you as a Christian somehow know that as a matter of fact, then I genuinely want to know how. If you somehow discovered this on your own, if this was somehow revealed to you, or if you had some kind of a divine experience, then I want you to tell me whatever it is that you did so that I can repeat it for myself. Because if the Christian God actually does exist and you are being honest and truthful about how you came to know that, then if you share that information with me and I repeat whatever it is that you did with an open mind and an open heart, then I should come away from that experience believing the same thing that you do. If what you believe is true, true, and if you came to that belief through a reasonable and honest process, then me repeating that same process should lead me to the truth. It should lead me to the proof. And if it does, then I will accept that proof, and as a result, I will believe in the Bible, I will worship Jesus, and I will become a Christian. Now, obviously, this proof requires you to have a reason for why you believe in the Christian God in the first place, and it also requires your reason to be an honest one and a reasonable one one, but if all of that checks out, then your reason for why you believe in Christianity should be more than enough proof that Christianity is true. And if I repeat your same process, then that should lead me to that proof, and if I find that proof, then it will convince me that Christianity is true. I know that this answer was fairly short and simplistic, but I feel like the question that I'm answering is one of the most important questions that I've ever gotten from Christians. And so I want to make sure that I'm sharing all of my answers to this question, even the simple ones. I hope that by sharing my answers in these videos, Christians Christians can get a better understanding of what at least some atheists are looking for when we say that we need proof of your God or your religion. And I also hope that these videos will be beneficial to other atheists by providing some more answers for them to consider when they get asked the same question. Because I think if we're asking Christians for proof, then it's only fair that we can specify what type of proof we're looking for. Tomorrow I'm going to be sharing my second answer to this question, so if you aren't subscribed, consider subscribing to see that video and all of my future videos. And as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next worship service. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Also subscribe and activate that little bell icon if you haven't already. Go follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook if you'd like to keep up with me behind the scenes. And if you'd like to help support what I do, you can pledge to my Patreon or leave me a tip on Cash App. Links and information for all of that stuff is in the description down below. Thank you for all of your support, and I'll see you in the next worship service. I'm
dreams